Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising, welcome to your August 2024 predictions. What does Aquarius need to know for August 2024, please? The end of a cycle, a final step to completion, end of an era, new beginnings all came through very quickly, Aquarius. So for some of you that are listening, there is something really big that's happening in your life. It sounds like you're coming to completion on a project or something like that. Um, or even letting go of something. So you're either completing something from a positive perspective or you're letting go of something so you can step into this new cycle, this new chapter of life, Aquarius. And as always, please take what resonates, leave the rest behind. We are all on our own unique journeys and let me know in the comments below if any of this resonates for you. Thank you. What else does Aquarius need to know for August 2024, please? So expanding on this first message, for some of you, you're going to receive a new title and this very much feels like either at work, but I did also get a quick peek into home life and perhaps you're getting the new title like auntie, uncle, grandfather, dad, mom, something along those lines. It is very much, um, on one hand, for some of you listening, there is newness coming into your life. And that is kind of this ending of kind of old patterns, old behaviors. And on the other side of things, it's, it's just that final step. It's kind of like the end of the book, right? And you're finally reading those last few chapters and you're really coming to completion on something, which feels um, like a nice shift for you, energetically speaking. Thank you. What else does Aquarius need to know? August, 2024, please. Then it's going to be faster than you think. Okay, Aquarius. So for some of you, once again, tying into this first message, especially if you're shifting into a new frequency, um, or you're starting something new in your life, that book is already closed, um, you resonate with the message that you're stepping into a new life in some way, somehow. Uh, whatever it is you're hoping to achieve is going to come much faster to you than you expected. And that makes sense, Aquarius, right? Realizing that when you shift into a new frequency, you are quite um, literally vibrating at a faster speed, which means things are coming to you much faster. So you're manifesting easier and quicker. Thank you, what else? Does Aquarius need to know August 2024? Let's change the, change the message, please. Basic math, basic arithmetic. Um, perhaps some of you are complicating something and making something a little bit more complex than it has to be, when in reality it's basically like two plus two equals four kind of energy here, Aquarius. So if there is some area of your life that you are complicating, uh, perhaps overanalyzing, overthinking, uh, really getting in your head about it, that, that mental kind of air energy, release it, allow it to be simple because it is actually quite simple. And the more that you allow it to be simple, the easier the solution will come to whatever problem it is that you're experiencing. Thank you. What else does Aquarius need to know? August, 2024, please dreading something. Oh, Aquarius. Some of you guys are dreading something. It feels family related. Um, it was a swift energy. And so for that, I'm assuming that if you just release it, release the expectations, especially if you're doing something with family or you do have something that co coming up that you are dreading, allow yourself to release expectations of it, put on a, a happy face, a positive attitude, and perhaps you're actually going to enjoy it rather than um, going into it, dreading it, and then likely not having a good time. Thank you. What else does Aquarius need to know? August, 2024, please. Vivacious, alive, and entertaining came through. This is new Aquarius, and this happened with Leo's reading. The first reading I started off with this month, month as well, where they're giving me these kind of groups of messages together. And so vivacious, entertaining, alive. This is very much around, um, this vibrancy, this frequency shift, this you coming into your own, perhaps, um, for some of you it might very much have to do quite literally with the entertainment industry. Um, uh, perhaps you're, you work in that space or you're trying to get into that space. Uh, but for the rest of you, it's almost like you're coming to life a little bit more and more. Um, remembering Aquarius that as we age, typically as we experience life, we grow into our sun sign energy. And so if you're watching as an Aquarius sun, it could be that you're finally really feeling like yourself. You finally feel at home. Your soul is connected with your ego and the body, and you're really feeling this um, shift in your life. Thank you. What else does Aquarius need to know? August, 2024, please. Aquarius, I got the message really quickly, desperate times call for desperate measures. And then I also received that things will shift as they may. Let's tap in a little bit deeper Aquarius and see where this is taking us. Okay, Aquarius, um, the message has shifted and it's resonating more so around 
recognizing that if you are in, in an energy of desperation, if you are starting to feel a little bit of despair, you're going to kind of exude the energies of that. And then of course, desperate measures, quick fixes will show up in your life. However, realizing Aquarius that the quick fix isn't always the best option because it is a short term thing. You really want to focus on building out your foundation here, Aquarius. This is actually a really powerful time for you to do just that, especially if you're resonating with this message, because when we kind of hit the lower vibrations of our energy, what tends to happen is we start to propel ourselves forward and upward. We expand out. Why? We, because we've hit the bottom. There's nowhere else to go. And so if this is resonating for you, first and foremost, recognize that you are very powerful. You have the energy within you to change your life completely if that's what you desire and allow yourself to do so in a way that is from the inside out, really setting the foundation for your own energy so that you can then really build on that foundation and expand out in a way and grow up in a way that is not so much a band-aid fix, but it's true. Um, you will release any ideas of imposter syndrome. You will release any ideas of kind of this too good to be true attitude because what you've done is actually set yourself up for really great success. So releasing the idea that just because you feel a little bit desperate means that you must do these quick fixes and instead focus in on the long-term effects, the long-term benefits of the actions and the choices that you're making right now. Thank you. What else does Aquarius need to know for August, 2024, please? Aquarius, the energy is rather chaotic within me. Although I've grounded, although I have really solidified my energy down for this reading and all I can think is for some of you that are listening and how to translate this into um, kind of a, a larger, more general message is that for some of you that are listening, you may really feel chaos right now. And if you do remember to come back to your heart, breathe through the heart, you know, hands on the heart, allowing yourself to really breathe in and out of your heart space to ground your energy because this desperation message really does go hand in hand with this chaos energy. And the more that you're grounded and solid in who you are, the easier your choices will make. You're connected to your higher self. You're connected to your intuition, God, source, universe, creator, and you will quite literally be led versus having to make decision and decision and decision. And I think this is really going to help you calm your mind in August, 2024. Thank you. Aquarius, what a powerful message for August, 2024. As always, let me know in the comments below if this resonates for you. And if you resonate with that back half of the message, make sure to ground center and shield your energy daily so that you really do start to create a very solid energetic core for yourself. And then you can lay that foundational work so you can transcend to, into higher frequencies.